Welcome to BDSM Dungeon Play. Tonight we're going to talk about sharp pointy things that can be used to create a, a wide variety of sensations uh, when doing play. Um, I caution you to know the person you're playing with and if they're very ticklish uh, and you're worried about inadvertently stabbing them or poking them with some of these sharp pointy things then maybe they need to be restrained uh, or put in a form of bondage before you play with these sharp things with them. But some of the things that I'm going to show you that uh, are very common in BDSM and in this type of erotic play, a Wartenberg wheel, it's certainly very sharp and pointy. Uh, if you if you like Wartenberg wheel play and you play with it a lot, then uh, if this becomes blood contaminated, then they're inexpensive. I just recommend making these uh, blood bound to each particular individual bottom that you play with. In fact, if I if I break skin with this, I'll give this to the bottom for them to put in their toy bag. And that way they have it to play uh, with the next time I play with them. Uh, most of them are stainless. I mean, you could clean these and sterilize these, but my approach is I don't. So we have those. These are disposable, and I don't know if I can get close enough for you to see it, but they're tiny little, uh, almost tack-like things, and this is used like a hammer. So you hammer the skin and create a sensation. Along the lines of a Wartenberg wheel, this is a larger pinwheel. I haven't ever counted the rows, but there's probably eight, eight rows or so of there, a very sharp, pointy things and when that's rolled over the skin. That creates an interesting sensation. A little bit different type of wheel, but the same, same concept, like a Wartenberg wheel. Uh, bear claws. Bear claws come in plastic versions. Again, these are sharp and pointy and can be used to create sensation play. Then they come in metal versions. The metal versions can also be used and violet wand play and we'll get into that in a different series but uh, again the bear claw is a very interesting sensation um, I've got some finger armor here it's designed with a sharp point and it also if I curl my knuckle this particular model has uh, like a knife to combine knife play with sensation play. Um, and then the last thing I'm gonna show you, and I'm hoping this is stimulating your ideas and you're going, oh, I've got this, I've got that, or well, what about this, what about that? That's what I want you to put down in the comments section. I want you to share with everybody that subscribes to this channel your own ideas of sharp and pointy things to play with. These are called vampire gloves. and. It just looks like a black leather glove, but the fingertips are just covered with sharp tacks. They're light tack-like objects, right? And they don't look like much, but I guarantee you when someone's blindfolded and restrained and you play with them with this, it creates a sensation on your skin that feels like you're being uh, cut or being poked and that you're bleeding. The last time I played with someone, they swore that their butt was bleeding and they went and got a paper towel and rubbed their butt and there was no blood. It was just the sensation the vampire gloves had created that made them think in their mind they were being cut and that they were bleeding. So that's just some ideas on some sharp pointy things to play with. What I'd like you to do in the comments section is is add some other ideas so that we can interact and share with everyone that's on the channel ideas for sharp pointy things. 